Hello YouTube. This is just a quick video to introduce our new little idea that we had. Uh, and it revolves around the quad frame legs. Now, some of you will be familiar with these. These are the legs from quad frame. And these are very good legs actually, uh, very popular and uh, used by all and sundry. Now, the problem with these, as I have discovered, these are my own legs, I use these, is that they're very good for carrying gimbals, but the it's actually not that great set up for doing so. So what you'll find is a lot of people, like I have done, is they attach the gimbals to the bottom of the battery tray. It makes sense to do that, it's the most logical place to put them, and relatively easy fit. Now the only problem with this, is two problems with this, and that is that, for one, you have to drill the holes in the battery place. It's not a particular taxing job, but it's very easy to get wrong. And you get the holes wrong and you've basically scrapped two little battery trays. Now, that's a small price to pay, there's not really an awful lot to worry about with that. But one of the things that does affect quite a lot of people is especially for the Martinez gimbal users for some reason, not so much the Alex, Alexmos, but the Martinez guys seem to have the same problem. And that is, you get a, a bit of stutter in the video, and it's not always associated with the gimbal itself. Now, I have the same problem, as you can see from the following video. Welcome back, um, as you can see now, I kind of traced this to, well, apart from the setup of the gimbal itself, but one of the problems I had was with the battery plates. Now, if I can just demonstrate this to you here, as you can see, this is the battery. If I move the gimbal, what happens is, is the battery trays flex. Now, I don't, it doesn't need an awful lot of, put, a lot of pressure to do this. It seems to be mostly forward and aft is causes the most flex in the battery tray. And what I think is happening is the gimbal is moving on that axis and it's not always picked up by the IMU. And you'll find that you'll get, especially in pitch, you'll find it's in pitch that's the problem. You'll find the video just jumps up and down slightly. Now, these are my legs. This is the Martinez powered RC timer gimbal in here. And it has this, this problem, as I'll show you before and after. But maybe this one I'll show you a little bit better. This is another pair of legs. It's exactly the same battery tray. But a few, and there's the remains of a, another gimbal holder underneath. If I wiggle that, as you can see, the plate doesn't take an awful lot of effort to do this. The plate is moving up and down. It's flexing. Now, that's pretty... It does affect the video a little bit, and it's always better, especially if you're doing high-speed stuff, to try and eliminate as much flutter as you can from the video. And if you are forward motion, 30 mile an hour, you're getting a bit of flutter across the gimbal surface here and the camera. And what that's doing is, even if the gimbal's mounted solid, you're going to find that it's going to get transmitted up to the battery tray, because that's where the mount is. Now what I've also done, part of the gimbal, just so you can see, is I've actually replaced the rubber balls in the gimbal here with uh, these harder balls. Now that helps a lot, but what you'll find is it's also quite good just to replace these battery trays with, this, uh, with something a little bit firmer to help smooth out the video a little bit and stop a lot of the vibration at higher speed. Now it's pretty simple because this is what we came up with. Now this is quite a simple piece of uh, carbon fibre. It, it has the mounts in the middle and obviously the, 
the, the ratchet points here. And it's really simple. What you basically do is you cut out the battery trace here and you replace them with this. That's it. That's all you have to do. Really simple job. It takes five minutes. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to do that with my gimbal. What I'll do is I'll remove the gimbal first. I will cut away the ratchets on the existing trays, take them away, and we'll replace it with this one. Quite simple. In case anyone are wondering what these sticky marks are, it's a good tip for you is, is to use moon gel in the trays themselves. That's where it was secured. It's a nice way of, of partly from stopping the battery moving around, but it helps stop vibration as well. So anyway, let's get started. Okay, so that's the gimbal removed. Very simple. Should be familiar to most people. That's the Martinez powered RC timer. You can put in a, an Alexmos in there as well, and the results are easier to achieve than the Martinez, but you can get perfectly good results off both. So there we are. Very simple. Now all we have to do is cut out the Velcros, the ratchets. Very simple. There we are. We've cut out the old battery plates. And there we are. Simple. That's them. Now you can see the flex. It doesn't take much power just to do that. Now that's going to be introducing vibration into your video. Just by flexing. You're going to be getting some sort of flutter into your video. Some affect it more than others, but on the whole, it's not ideal. So, what we're going to do is put in the new piece, that's simple, just slots straight in place of the old one, just like that, very simple. it mounted job done nice and secure now all you've got to do now is remount your gimbal always try and make sure you've got it going in the right direction so quite simple now because we've got the holes in the top it's quite easy to slot in And that's it. Done. Very simple. Now, if you flex the gimbal, as you can see, absolutely no motion moved up into the plate. This makes it extremely solid. It makes the IMU job easier because there is only one source of movement and that's from the gimbal itself. The only thing moving now are the rubber balls inside the gimbal itself as you can see there. See, nothing is getting passed to the top. So, as you can see from this next video, yes, you're going to see some improvement, but yeah, on the whole, it works a bit better than it would do without. It.
So, these items are for sale. If you just go to our website in the description, you'll be able to buy one of these. Very simple. Shipping takes, uh, depending where you are in the world, up to a week, two weeks, depending on the shipping method. Uh, really simple to do. Now, one thing to bear in mind is that this is slightly thicker plate. So you're going to lose a couple of millimetres of space in the battery in terms of height. So that's about the only downside you have for fitting this new plate. So nice and simple. Hope you like it. Hope to hear some reviews, see how you guys get on with these. And uh, hope to see your comments on our uh, YouTube channel. Thank you. See you then.